today we're going to be opening a new subscription box and it is called Yumi Twins and is this not the most kawaii and cute box you've ever seen in your entire life? It is a really pretty lavender color and it has these really cute little lollipops and there's a little unicorn and it's just precious. I love it. So this is the hashtag Yumi Twins on all of their social media and the website is yumitwins.com. So let's go ahead and get into this cutie. Oh, and then there's a picture here that says the Yumi Twins. So I guess that's that's them. Oh my gosh. I just love all the artwork on the box. Like for me, packaging is almost import as important as the actual product because you're opening the whole thing. It's a whole like process and this is just absolutely gorgeous. So good job, Yumi Twins. Oh my gosh. I already see something that's in there, but I will show you this thing first. So this is volume one. It is the June box and this artwork y'all is super cute. This is the grand opening box. I'm really excited to be part of this. So thank you Yumi Twins for sending me this. It's showing everything that's in the box. Super cute. I don't want to look at it too much. I want to be surprised. Yumi Twins is a new kawaii movement that is a mixture of cuteness and fairy tales with a touch of darkness. Yumi itself means dream. Very cool. So it looks like they're having a photo contest. Every month, all of our subscribers are automatically entered to win a Yumi prize full of kawaii treasures. It looks like a lot of these are little twin stars, which I love little twin stars, so that's very exciting. And then it talks about some trends happening in Japan. So I'm really excited, so let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my gosh! How cute! So the first thing is this plush, and this is a Sailor Neptune plush. And this is so adorable right now. So I'm trying to see. It says Bandai on the tag, so I'm assuming that that's legitimate. Um, it looks pretty legitimate to me. I am not a um, Sailor Moon paraphernalia pro, but just from the look of this, it looks pretty high quality to me. So this is the plush. I think this looks really nice. It seems pretty high quality. The face is really nicely stitched on and it's very soft and it even has like a little gem on the bow and it's so cute. It's like a little chibi form of it. How cute is that? So again, here is the tag. It looks pretty licensed to me, but again, let me know because I'm not a huge collector of Sailor Moon, so I'm not entirely sure. But this is really, really cute and a great start to this box. I'm really excited about that. Oh, so the pamphlet says that the Sailor Moon plush is to celebrate Sailor Moon's 20th anniversary, and that is a set of exclusive plushes. And these are all the different ones that you could get. Very cool. So next is this Prism Paradise, what is it? A heart case. I think this is a compact mirror and the packaging is really adorable. So let me open it. So it comes with this really cute little heart trinket. I think this is a trinket box. Is it? It is. So it's a little trinket box and it has a little mirror on it. It has this little like gem, it has some gold wings. So this is really cute. It also came with this little bag and I don't know what's in here. Oh, it's candy. Oh yeah, it is candy. That's really yummy actually. There's like a little thing that you can lift up. So I'll put the candy in there. That's pretty awesome. So you can carry candy around and let it come out. And it's like a little dispenser. That's so cute. And then it has a little mirror. This is really awesome. I'm really liking this box so far. Ah, next is this Gudetama coin pouch. And it's so cute. I love Gudetama. He's one of my new favorite Sanrio characters, and this is absolutely adorable. I just love this. I love Gudetama. Anything Gudetama, I'm okay with. I really, really love that they included some Gudetama things in here. So cute. Next is this little hand towel with hearts on it and a little bow. Super adorable. I just love little hand towels. I think they're so useful. And this one is super, super adorable. I just, um, I'm just really loving this box. Are you getting this vibe from me? Like, 
This is really, really awesome right now. Uh, next is this Gudetama item. I love all the Gudetama. Do blah, blah, blah. I love all the Gudetama in this box. It's so great. It looks like this one isn't a remint, but I think it is similar. It's by Sanrio. It's not by Remint, but it looks like it's a random keychain. There are eight, I believe, that you can get. So let's see which one we got. Oh, they're so tiny. For some reason, I was expecting it to be bigger. This is absolutely tiny but it's so cute. So it's this little teeny tiny keychain. Look at him. Can you see his little butt? <laughs> this is super adorable. It is super tiny. So you can put this on something very tiny. This is super adorable. It's just like a little plastic, hard plastic keychain and it's so cute. I love it. I love you, Gudetama. Next is this super adorable mini memo pad, and this is by Cameo, and it is Mochi Mochi Panda, and it is so cute. I don't know if I've seen him before, but this is the first design, which is like a die cut design, and then this one. It's so cute. I love that they give you a mini memo pad. I can never have enough memo pads, and this one is by Cameo, which I love. So super adorable. Then you also get another blind bag, and this one is by Kabaya, and it is these really cute little rings. This says they are Sebon Star Ring. These are extremely popular in Japan. Each one is super quiet and pretty, each with its unique style. So let's see which one I got. Oh, I got a little orange one with a little gem on it. And then there's a bag of little candies in here. This ring is excessively small and it doesn't even fit on my pinky because I'm so fat. So <laughs> it is really super cute though. It's going to mutilate me if I push it down any farther. It's not really adjustable. But it's still really, really cute and perfect for probably kids. I'm too old and fat for this to fit me. But it's still really, really cute. Then lastly is this. And this is apparently by Remint. And it says it is Funasi Diorama Stickers. Funasi is a pop. I don't know if I'm saying that right, by the way. Sorry if I'm not. Fana Funasi. Use these kawaii stickers from Raymond to decorate the background that is included with your pack or add a touch of fun to your cards and notebooks. So that's really cool. So let's see what it looks like. So you get a little set of stickers, and I love the hamburger one. That's my favorite one. You get this little, like, pop-up scene, which looks like it is a, it looks like a little bedroom. And there's, like, a little wash bucket here. So it looks like you can just stick on the stickers to it. So this is what I did. I put a little... Uh, wash thing here. I put the hamburger. I put this guy up here and I dressed him up in a little outfit. He has glasses and a little drink. So that's a really cute little fun thing to decorate and it's just really funny. So that is everything in this Yumi Twins box. I have to say that I am extremely satisfied. I think that everything in this box was really, really great. It all seemed licensed. I got some Gudetama items in there. There was a Sailor Moon plush. There was a cameo memo pad and just really, really cute items. So I very much recommend this box. I will put the links down below in the description of where you can get it. But I'm really, really excited about it and I think the box is absolutely adorable. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.